That's what it used to look like. This is what it looks like now. What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. This is the new LG Envy Touch for Verizon. It is the successor to the Voyager. And even though it's not called Voyager, you can tell it's the successor. You know how? Not just because I said so, but because the Voyager was the VX10,000 and the Envy Touch is the VX11,000. And you know when numbers go up, you know what that means. Uh, basically, Veri Verizon and LG can no longer call the Voyager the Voyager because Plantronics owns the trademarks of the name Voyager for their line of uh, earpieces or something like that. So they had to change the name, so they're going with NV Touch. They also just uh, announced the NV3, which uh, the NV3 is actually available in stores now. The NV Touch, not yet. So I figured, let's get the NV Touch first so you can see it. You can go to the Verizon store and see the NV3, although I'll have that one soon. But, uh, you know, you can't see this one yet. And that's what we do is we want to bring you the stuff before you can see it. Or, you know, if we can get it and you can't just yet, we want to hook you up because we're here for you at Phone Dog. <clears throat> anyway, here you go. In the box, it's the Envy Touch. We'll get to the actual phone in a second. Also in the box, you get, what do you get? You get a USB data cable. You get your power plug, and so it's a USB-based power plug. You can see right there, you plug it into the cable, modular, like that. You get the battery, which is very important. It's so important that I'm actually gonna open it up. Uh, 950 milliamp hour. I hope that's not a problem. That's not a uh, super, you know, high powered battery. So hopefully that'll be all right. And then you get all of your manuals and guides and such. So we'll turn this on. We'll see if there's any juice in the battery. If not, I will charge it up. And through the magic of video editing, you won't even have to wait while I charge the phone. You won't even notice. We'll put this in and, uh, See if we can launch it and then show you around the phone in the meantime. Now, there's a little bit of a question, and I hope I'm wrong. I don't, I don't like being right as much as I like you guys getting good stuff. I was told a while ago this phone was going to have a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. I'd since heard from a few uh, other blogs and stuff like that that it's actually 3.5. Really hope it's 3.5 because that would be a little more useful. Uh, here I happen to have a set of earphones with a three and a half millimeter jack. Go to plug it in. Oh, and it fits! Awesome. Glad to see it. Nice work, LG and Verizon with three and a half millimeter jack. So here's the phone, and it's a touch screen on the front. You open it up, and you get the full QWERTY keyboard with the internal non-touch screen, stereo speakers, D-pad, all that good stuff. Three buttons on the front camera button, rocker switch, lock switch on the side. On the other side you've got that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, Dolby Mobile, micro SD card slot, no card inside of my phone here. Um, I think I started calibrating the phone, it's going to be all messed up, but that's okay. And then a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera, Schneider Kruzhnacht with flash. So we'll do a little comparison to the original. And you can see the new one, definitely a little bit thinner, so it looks to be a little bit more pocketable. Uh, camera upgrade, 3.2 megapixel with flash as opposed to 2 megapixel. Uh, a little tiny bit shorter as well, not quite as long. The 3.5 millimeter jack as opposed to 2.5 millimeter, also nice. Here you can see the, uh, I'll start calibrating this while I fire the other one up. You can see the screen size. A little bit bigger on the new one. We'll put you the specs. Get you the specs. It's activating here. Welcome to Verizon Wireless Programming. And then your internal Para screens. To program your phone, press one. Update your roaming capabilities to. Do 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 do. Pretty similar internal keyboards. A little bit of difference. You know, just the styling of the D-pad, some of the buttons a little bit different. The uh, the Envy Touch here on the right, the new one, the keys are a little bit more flush mounted than the original Voyager. A um, little more domed, a little less. These are kind of raised and flat. These are a little tiny bit more domed. Slightly different shape, but a little bit uh, more flush mounted. We'll see if we can get this programmed so we can show you the user interface. 
because that'd be kind of fun to see, wouldn't it? All right, so here you go. We're all programmed, ready to go. It's the uh, NV Touch, the VX11000, uh, three-inch touchscreen on the outside, three-inch um, non-touchscreen display on the inside. Both are 800 by 480, high resolution. Uh, a little bit higher resolution, a little bit larger than the original Voyager. The phone's going to be $149.99 after rebate on contract direct from Verizon, available on June 5th. And uh, we'll take a look here. And you can see new user interface. So you've got little shortcuts you can get to and uh, kind of multiple shortcuts you can set up. You can drag items to place on your home screen. So shortcuts and then you can also go to my media and you can uh, have links directly, Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So we'll go back. We'll do a full review of this later right now, just kind of showing you around. So I'll drag, a, I'll drag a, a link to Need for Speed. And I'll be done with that. And there you go, Need for Speed. Now on my home screen, go to the main menu. And got the postage stamp theme going. Go back, we'll go to, uh, actually if we go to settings, we'll show you the different options. For your display themes. So uh, let me do a little blue inspiration maybe, see what that looks like. And blue inspiration is more of a, uh, so you're three lines scrolling. This is kind of similar to the LG Arena uh, higher end smartphone that I saw at Mobile World Congress that uh, not yet available in the states with the the multiple line sliding interface kind of thing. So you know Verizon or uh, LG's rather new design direction for their UIs. It looks like. Uh, let's go to let's see this uh, this display in action. Uh, you Reve of course and uh, full HTML browser or at least that's what they tell me. So let's open it up. Or no, actually, you know what, let's go from here, and uh, we'll hit the menu. Oh, what? We'll go. You know, each of these phones, when I do these unboxings, it's like, how does it work? All these crazy menus. So, there we go. And obviously you can use the QWERTY board on the inside. I don't think... yeah, it does have an accelerometer. Very cool. See the accelerometer pretty quick. Looks like it's got tab browsing. Obviously the GPS. You can see the little location-based services indicator. Ooh, favicon support. <laughs> Looking nice. Have you seen the new phone dog homepage, by the way? Folks in the home office, the IT guys, the design guys and girls, doing a lot of work recently, rolling out a new uh, new homepage look, a little more streamlined look, uh, some more featured content and stuff. So definitely check that out on the phone dog site. So it's a resistive touchscreen, not capacitive, but seems pretty responsive. You can see some of the images and stuff still loading up, but uh, so far so good. And I like that when you touch, you get these zoom overlays right there, so that's pretty easy to see. Pretty intuitive. And then very quick to rotate with the accelerometer, which is nice. Did I say thanks to our friends at LG for getting this one out to me so quickly? If I hadn't... Thank you, we appreciate that. Here's your internal screen again, 800 by 480. Really nice looking. Let's go to a different page here. We'll go to... Uh, navigate. Oh, it's got an RSS feed reader, which is pretty cool. We'll do one more page, and again, we, uh, you know, we'll show you all this in depth with an in-depth review. But I'd like to give you a little hands-on right now. See if we can get some YouTube. Little RSS feed indicator there. That's nice that you know you can get straight to uh straight to your RSS feed. These phones are getting so much more advanced, man. Happy June to everybody, by the way. And uh my condolences to, to LeBron 
Uh, I'm happy to see D12 in the finals, but uh, Kobe LeBron would have been nice. And LeBron, man, he's doing everything he can, carrying that team on his back, and just not enough. So here's the YouTube. This is the uh, desktop version of the page. Looks good. Let's, uh... I don't know what any of these things are. Let's go guys, guys, guys. I don't know why, just because it's there. Let's see if we can watch in line or if it takes us to the uh, media player or what happens here. Inline, really? Inline YouTube viewing, very nice. Yeah, okay, that's enough out of you. There you go, it's a first look at the NV Touch, the successor to the Voyager. Don't call it a Voyager. Voyager NV Touch. New from Verizon, available June 5th, $149.99 on contract after rebate. But we got you covered here at Phone Dog. We got one ahead of time. Thanks again to LG for sending it out. Super high res display, touchscreen on the outside, QWERTY board on the inside, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, 3.2 megapixel camera, autofocus flash, video capture, GPS, visual voicemail optional. What else do you need, right? It's just about the highest spec non smartphone you can find these days. We'll have much, much more on the NV Touch. All the new phones coming out, lots of stuff coming out in June. NV3, LG Glance, Palm Pre, maybe a new iPhone, all kinds of craziness. I will be live at uh, Apple's WWDC keynote address where they're expected to unveil the new iPhone. That's Monday, next Monday, June 8th, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I'll be there live blogging on the site, so check that out on phonedog.com. Till then, till next time, till whenever, I'm Noah. Nice to see you. Thanks for watching. Where am I? Can you see me? Right there. That's me, behind the camera. What's up? See you later.